Welcome to Tricked Up Rep Rap. Now I've uh, added uh, lights to it and I've got my fans working on the uh, extruder motor on the, the lower end on the right and also blowing in the hole on the left where the gear is. And uh, right now I'm printing uh, a replacement fan mount for the motor. It's uh, this is sort of what this is the first couple of layers right here, and I think I showed it to you on the uh, the open S CAD. It's uh, it's going to just be on the rear end and then hook across the front and extend the fan below the x-axis rails here anyway that's what it's uh, this is what it will look like and so uh, anyway that's what I'm printing right now uh, to go back to the other videos I think this is video 4 go back to the others uh, I printed uh, the nut and the bolt which uh, they turned out pretty good after the bolt cooled it uh, loosened up really nicely and it nut worked fine on it it's uh, it's not really good for anything uh, it's printed in PLA pretty nice uh, finish on it though uh, anyway I wanted to show you that also have here um, if you get one of these kits especially the maker gear kit you may want to buy a spare polo lube driver which uh, it comes uh, this this is pre-assembled except for the edge pins which have to be this is a uh, item number 1182 and this is the A4988 stepper motor driver carrier. Uh, so anyway, it's uh, it comes in a little um, anesthetic bag. It also comes with the uh, heat sink and the thermal transfer tape. It's double sided tape. Anyway, that's uh, sort of the necessity you've got four of these drivers on the uh, ramps board. Uh, also, it wouldn't hurt to have a spare hot end. Uh, this is a, a large package for what it uh, actually produces. Uh, it only produces a... Uh, well, you've got the laser cut uh, groove mount adapter for the brut strutter here and uh, below there you got the uh, groove mount itself which is a piece of plastic it looks like and then you got all the stuff required to build the uh, to build the uh, hot end Anyway, that's uh, that's a good spare to have. Both of these would be good to have if you got one of these maker gear kits. Um, I haven't really done much in the last week other than uh, finishing this program. Uh, I did change the length of the arms that go across that will go across from here. And hook on the outside of the motor over here and the fan is only going to be mounted with two screws in the bottom I made uh, the base wide enough to where I could put nuts on the top and put the screw heads in from the bottom or vice versa either way it should work and also extended it low enough to where it would actually go below this X end idler end so it should clear this right here and allow me to go full 200 millimeters again right now I've got it limited to 180 by 180 and that's why the last two 
uh, smaller ticks, or actually three it looks like, are off the uh, the right side here. It uh, I purposely did that in my uh, uh, proner face to uh, configuration to uh, not allow me to go any further to crash it out. Not knowing what it would actually do if I were to try to print a very large print, uh, if it would fall out and say you can't do it, or if it would go ahead and try. I'm not sure what it would do. But anyway, I've got the heat bed heat off now. Uh, the hot end's running at 185. I don't know if you can see that or not, but uh, it's running at 185. And uh, this little light LED right here is the hot end. Uh, when it comes on, this light will be illuminated. It's off now. It'll come back on in a minute. Uh, the PID loop is pretty tight on this. I've noticed it will vary uh, about three degrees. Uh, it actually as it's ramping up the first time it'll go into it just came back on as it's going into uh, ramping up it will uh, go over 185 to about 188 and then settle back down to about 184 and then it blends back into 185 right now it's right on 185 it's holding real good so anyway I'm real pleased with that configuration on that PID loop uh, you can expect a little bit of uh, overshoot on the ramp up and then it should blend back in and without maybe one or two hops after that. So anyway, uh, that part's working real well. The bed temperature, I, I'm not that concerned about it right now, whether or not it it will reach 60 degrees with the PLA, and like I say, I've not uh, yet printed any uh, uh, ABS. There's some on this roll here, though. As soon as I run out of the green, I'll go to the ABS. Even though I do have some more short uh, lengths of both the green and the red PLA, I'll probably start printing some replacement parts for my machine itself in case something were to break. But uh, the ABS parts are rigidly strong. Uh, I've not had any trouble. I didn't have any trouble with the assembly. Uh, I've got these fairly tight on these little ends here, and neither one broke. And I think I showed you on the other video. The ones I printed in uh, green, both green and red, for up here, uh, two of them broke. So that's why I've got one red one and three green ones up here. Because I had both uh, the other green one broke, and then the first red one I tried to install, it broke. So this is the second red one up here. So I've actually had two to break. By the way, this despooler is working great. It uh, it really does. Uh, despool just works really fine. There's uh, no friction because it's sitting on those four 608ZZ bearings. Uh, now these uh, pulleys right here are supported by 688ZZ bearings. And they're a slightly smaller OD. They're still 8 millimeter ID. I think they're 5 millimeter wide. But uh, it takes three of these, uh, two on Y axis and one on X axis for the machine. Um, the only 608s that the machine takes are at the bottom of Z axis. Uh, this is sort of uh, not real standard rep wrap uh, on these mounts, uh, but it's coming of age now. Uh, there's more and more people using these. I noticed there's a similar uh, mount on uh, Thingiverse for using the bearing, and uh, it's 
support the screw and the uh, vertical uh, rod. But anyway, um, what I'll do is make a part B on this video to finish this print because uh, it's probably about halfway done with the base part now and then it'll start the uprights at the top end further away from us right now uh, to get those hooks for the back end of the motor and hopefully it'll fit um, hopefully I calculated my distance I needed to drop down uh, pretty accurately and uh, but uh, like I say, this is uh, PLA, it's not very strong, and I may just, uh, after I start printing in the ABS to print the uh, machine parts, I may just uh, print one of these in ABS as well. Uh, the only ABS I have right now is the uh, natural color that I got from MakerBot. It's, uh, it's the 1.75 millimeter uh, natural color, which uh, should blend in fairly good with this white. It, uh, I'm not sure. He doesn't sell uh, white on his uh, website at Maker Gear. He does sell the natural when he's got it in stock, but he doesn't sell white, but he makes the Prussa machines, that's uh, pronounced Prussia, sorry, machines uh, out of white, and I'm not sure about that. need to ask him sometime on that IRC chat uh, why he doesn't stock the white. But anyway, um, I may just cut this video here in just a minute. I wanted to show you though about the spares, and I'd recommend both of these spares, the Polo Lube driver, if if you've got the Maker Gear kit and you're using the Ramps 1.4 uh, cover board for the Arduino. And um, also a spare hot end because I've been on the IRC chat and I noticed there are many people having trouble with their hot ends. Uh, it wouldn't hurt to be able to, like, within, say, 10 minutes, drop in a new one and go from there then. Uh, if you're going to change it, uh, make sure you uh, recheck your Z height at zero when, when it's at uh, home. Um, I use a, uh, right now I'm using a, a uh, filler gauge, 11,000 filler gauge, which is uh, about 0 0.30 millimeters, I think. It gives uh, the correct amount of compression for me uh, on that bottom layer to where I can get this PLA to stick to the blue painter's tape. Okay, I'm going to have to wrap it up. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I will have another video here just as soon as I make it. Uh, I'll start on it right here after this one. I'll split this one into part A and part B probably. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.